Doctors and nurses in Fukushima have begun visiting areas in the prefecture to give children thyroid checkups. This will help assess the health impact of the nuclear accident. 239 children were checked at a health center and nursery school in the town of Kawamata on Monday. Their parents will be notified of the results in about one month. Thyroid checkups for children were only available at Fukushima Medical University. The prefectural government decided to help families living far away from the university. I think it's very good. I'll feel better after I get the results. The test will include about 360,000 children in the prefecture who were 18 years old or younger on April 1st. This was about 20 days after the accident. Radioactive iodine released from the nuclear plant could accumulate in the thyroid glands of children and raise their risk of developing cancer. Children in the prefecture will undergo the checks every two years until they turn 20. After this, the checks will be once every five years. Japan is planning to strengthen measures against terror attacks on nuclear power plants. A government panel met on Monday to discuss ways to respond to international threats. It made some counterterrorism proposals, such as compelling operators to secure emergency power sources and seawater pumps used to cool reactors. The panel called on utilities to increase the number of police and to stock up on protective clothing at plants in order to step up security. It also says computer systems controlling nuclear plants should be separate from outside networks to protect them from cyber attacks. Chief Cabinet Secretary Osamu Fujimura told the panel that the crisis at the Fukushima plant could have been triggered by terrorist attacks, not just by natural disasters. It also says computer systems controlling nuclear plants should be separate from outside networks to protect them from cyber attacks. Chief Cabinet Secretary Osamu Fujimura told the panel that the crisis at the Fukushima plant could have been triggered by terrorist attacks, not just by natural disasters. Shareholders of Tokyo Electric Power Company are preparing to sue the current and former executives over the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. A group of 42 individuals asked the utilities auditors on Monday to file a lawsuit against 61 executives who have held posts since 2002. They are seeking more than 5.5 trillion yen or about 71 billion dollars in compensation. The amount is the highest ever demanded in a lawsuit in Japan. The investors say TEPCO executives failed to take steps to protect the plant from earthquakes and tsunami and must be held accountable for the accident. We want to make it clear through a court trial that the executives are personally responsible. They added that if the auditors don't file the lawsuit within 60 days, they will do so on their own. TEPCO declined to comment on the matter. An electric company in western Japan has submitted to the government the results of safety tests on a reactor at its nuclear power plant. But there is some debate over the significance of the tests. Shikoku Electric Power Company on Monday handed the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency the results of a so-called stress test on its plant. Shikoku Electric claims tests on the number three reactor at the Ikata nuclear plant in Ehime Prefecture confirm its safety. The utility is the second to submit stress test results since the Fukushima accident. Some nuclear experts voiced criticism of the reactor tests on Monday at the first meeting of a government panel to discuss how to evaluate the tests. We may have to reconsider how we evaluate safety. We have to listen to the opinions of local residents. Another panel member that the stress test should not be the only condition for restarting reactors when the cause of the Fukushima accident is still unclear. Moving on to news here in Japan, the Meteorological Agency has launched a panel to look into measures against so-called long-period ground motion caused by earthquakes. 
At the panel's first meeting on Monday, the agency explained the effects of such motion during the March 11th quake. The panel is to study the impact of the phenomenon, which has a cycle of more than several seconds and often occurs during powerful earthquakes, causing high rises to shake violently. The agency says more than 30 surveyed high rises in Tokyo did not suffer structural damage in the quake, but that people in half of them had difficulty in standing due to swaying. The phenomenon reportedly damaged a tall building in Osaka hundreds of kilometers from the quake's epicenter. The agency plans to develop a scale to indicate the impact of the motion on buildings and release the information to the public immediately after earthquakes. The panel is to discuss what should be told to the public and what media should be used to do so and come up with a recommendation by next spring. I don't have to tell you things are bad. Everybody knows that they're bad. It's depressing. Everybody's out of ideas and scared of losing subscribers. A thousand views will get you but a dollar. Google are going bust. Sock accounts keep on trolling every single one of your channels. Fucktards are running wild on the tweets. And there's nobody anywhere who seems to know what to do about it. And there's no end in sight. We know that our videos are unfit to be seen and that our words are unfit to be heard. And we sit there watching our computer screens as countless videos come up telling us that today there were 15 DMCAs and 63 false flagging incidents as if that's the way it's supposed to be. We know things are bad. They're worse than bad. They're crazy. Everybody, everywhere is going crazy. So we don't upload anymore. We just sit there on our channels and as more suspensions go on and on and on and the little world we're in gets smaller and smaller and all we say is please, please, just leave me here in our blog TV chat rooms and leave us here with our Twitter and our Facebook and, and our Ustream and we won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. I don't want you to protest. I don't want you to riot. I don't want you to write to YouTube or Google because I wouldn't know what to tell you to say anyway. I don't know what to do about the DMCAs and the fundies and the fucktiles and the false flagging and the slime that's on this site. All I know is this. You've got to get mad. You've got to get mad. You've got to stand up and say, I'm a human being, damn it. My vlogs have value. So I want you to get up. Go to a website where you can post a comment, go to a blog, go to anywhere you can find, just go somewhere, go and stick your head, stick your hands on your t keyboard and type the words, I'm mad as hell! And I'm not going to take it anymore! I'm mad as hell! And I'm not going to take it anymore! And Japan's emperor is to remain hospitalized due to a worsened fever and coughing. The Imperial Household Agency announced this on Monday. The 77-year-old Emperor Akihito was hospitalized on November 6th with mild symptoms of bronchitis, including fever and persistent coughing. The agency said he was to be released last Friday as his temperature on Thursday was back to normal and his cough had eased. But his condition reportedly worsened that night. The emperor was to attend an event to welcome Bhutan's royal couple this week. His duties will be to take over, taken over by Crown Prince Naruhito.